I feel like I'm just repeating myself on this channel every game reaction that I'm doing at the moment. And it's just another frustrating one as it ends at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham nil, Arsenal won. The same issues being, you know, exposed by Spurs week in, week out under Ange Postacoglu, which is heavily frustrating. But before we go any further, if you are new to the Sunday Talk Spurs channel and you enjoy me just ranting and losing my head at Spurs, then you know what to do. Get down below, like the video, uh, comment what you made of that performance, hit the subscribe button and the no notification bell as well. And before we go any further, let's also just dive into the stats because just before I went live, I was in a few of my group chats and one of my mates summed up perfectly. Spurs are all bark and no bite. And that's pretty much it. Again, 15 shots, 5 on target, 64% possession, and not a goal to show for it. Arsenal, 7 uh, shots in total, 4 on target, 36% possession. They came, they knew what they were doing, Arsenal, and they just absolutely suffocated Spurs in this fixture. Just didn't let us have any key chances. I feel like the only chances that were of note was Solanke maybe in the first half, but his feet maybe got a bit mixed up and it didn't actually end in a shot. But... Arsenal just know what they're doing, don't they? They turn up to games like this without Rice, who is suspended, and out without Martin Erdegaard, who's injured, and just are able to defend in that 4-4-2, rigid, not allowing any crosses into the area. David Reyes, hands on absolutely everything, and just, you know, know when to pick Spurs off, whether it's a counter-attack or as they did from a set piece, which we'll get on to shortly. But... Yeah, I think Spurs were just lacklustre in all regards up and down the pitch. Vicario just poor from that corner. Just very, very worrying signs for him. I think the defence, you know, they didn't have too much to do. But the key part of that is from the corners. Just not, not really much they are doing to defend these set pieces. The midfield just gets bypassed and overrun, which is obviously quite annoying as well. And then the attack. The attack is very limp. It's very... Uh, you know, we're creating all these chances, but Dominic Solanke is just, he's there, but every cross is just, you know, we can't seem to cross a ball at the moment, whether it's, you know, going over players' heads, uh, you know, just going out for throw-ins, hitting the first man, just absolutely poor, whether it's Brennan Johnson, Timo Werner, or the bear when he came on as well, Madison, Poro, it's just very lacklustre when it comes to crossing him. These are the chances that we're going to create. I mean, Sun wasn't in the game at all. I can't remember anything he did of significant note. But as I say, Arsenal have been doing this now for many seasons under Mikel Arteta. What is it now? Probably their sixth or seventh season under Arteta, I believe. Um, but they're able to now go into games and just absolutely, you know, change their tactic depending on who they're playing. They knew they didn't have Rice. They knew they didn't have Martin Erdegaard. They had Party, and they obviously had Jorginho in there who were just able to, you know, really just suffocate Spurs and just not make, you know, two banks of four and just not make it any options for us going forward. We're constantly going out wide, crossing balls into nowhere, couldn't go through the middle, just a poor game from Spurs. And people will say, you know, this time last year, it was 3-0 at half-time. We went on 3-2. But just a significant lack of fight in certain areas. You know, this game, you've got to get up to it. And like Anne said before the game, you know, every game we want to win. But the North London derby means a lot to these fans. The atmosphere was great, but it just wasn't reflected on the pitch. And, you know, as people know on this channel, I'm a very big fan of Ange Postacoglu. I've stood by him. But the set pieces now are getting a bit of a joke. Like, Vicario just doesn't claim anything. He flaps and then he's stuck on his line. Romero, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm a big fan of Romero, but now this is three mistakes so far this season. He let Jamie Vardy go in the Leicester one-all draw. He was at fault for um, the goal against Newcastle. It's just becoming a bit ridiculous. Uh, and he, he, again, he's just he's doing nothing in the middle of the park. And, you know, I want Romero to sort of... Um, sign a new deal at Spurs. I think he has improved his game. He's not as hot-headed. You know, there's a few instances where like, he made a great tackle at the byline, but there's just moments of madness still where he's just not picking up his man. Or I don't, And I don't know what that is when it comes to Andy's defensive coaching. It just seems to be a massive, massive worry. 
but set pieces in general, we're bad at attacking them. I just feel like I'm repeating myself. Every time, as I say, I do one of these game reactions, I'm just repeating myself. Set pieces, high line, lack of uh, impotent, impotentness up top. Uh, you know, it's just really frustrating as a Spurs fan now. Because as the, ga- as the season goes on, I don't get me wrong, it's Arsenal, and they're a very well-oiled machine and very well-drilled. But at home, in this fixture, without, you know, they've got injuries, everyone was in form and fit for Spurs, and you just, you know, served up 90 minutes of dross, really, without, you know, creating a really key chance that you could go, well, that was the moment we had that could have won the game. But, yeah, I'm just a bit deflated after that because, you know, the fixtures come thick and fast. Brentford next week, who gave you know uh, Manchester City a good, um, a good game yesterday in the Premier League. We've got Coventry in the Cup in the week. That isn't going to be easy, you know. They uh, they are no mugs, and we obviously got history with them. And it's away from home, you know. Pressure on Ange to do well in the cup competitions, Europa League. You know, the, you need some of these results. Like even a draw today, momentum puts pressure on Arsenal against Manchester City next weekend as well. You know, you've got to look at it like that. But a few things, I say a few, a lot of things to really iron out. And this is not me basically saying like I'm calling Ange out, but because I feel like we have this season, you know, we have created a lot of chances. But today was just a day where. Nothing was coming off. Nothing looked good. You know, there was just moments of absolute madness out there where you're just pulling your hair out and frustrated and just, you can understand why certain fans have certain opinions on, you know, the club and the manager and the players because, you know, you're bringing Timo Werner on and it's just not, you know, and he's putting in crosses like that, just not, not good enough. But yeah, I just, I'm a bit, lost for words after that because it was just that poor from Spurs and when you'd served up that sort of performance in a derby that means a lot and you know we've got games this season against you know it it makes you think like predictions at the beginning of the season we said a lot some people said third fourth fifth sixth watching that sort of performance you do wonder where Spurs could finish this season it could be anywhere like you know we just really have got to put away our chances and be more decisive in front of goal and just really tweak in certain areas set pieces have got to really be tightened up the high line has got to be you know there was moments where you look at Mickey van der Ven and Romero and they like close down the Arsenal players same with Poro and the Dogi, but there is still moments where the midfield is not protecting that back line and we're just getting run over, um, which just makes it a really scary prospect for this season and beyond of like, what what, what, how, what are the tactics that we are seeing? Are we seeing something that can be maintained over a heavy season? You know, last season was different. We didn't have all the games that we have this term you know, with Europa League and all that. We've knocked out of the Cups early in both stages. You know, Premier League, I mean, I, I saw something about Ange's recent record. I think he's only won, like, three, two or three games in his last t- 15 or so fixtures or something, and it's just very worrying that this is, like, relegation form. And, you know, we had a really good result against Everton. We should have really beat Leicester, and Newcastle was frustrating as well. So we really need to turn this ship around because... Fans are going to get restless and fans are going to get really, really annoyed, um, you know, watching this. Because the thing is, I see is we had really dire and awful football sometimes under Mourinho, Conte, Nuno and all that. And we got the football back that we wanted. But as I say, it needs to really click. We need to see it click. Because I think Solanke looks quite good for Spurs. I feel like he will be will be quite good in that forward line. And... You know, in the games, maybe like Newcastle and um, Everton as well. If we, he was there, he would have scored. It was inevitable. But today, it's just like, you can tell he's not linking up well with that forward line just yet because of the certain crosses, and they're just not picking him out. So it just goes to show that we are we are not where we think we are yet. We're still a process that we've got to trust, and I trust it. Uh, but today, it's, it's just the derby, isn't it? It just hurts right there when you lose to Arsenal, especially at home but yeah that's from me today hope you enjoyed um this video obviously a bit 
of a you know rush of emotion. But yeah, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment down below what you made of it. Also, if you can become a member, link in the description down below. I will have a podcast live at some stage this week. So get down and become a member. But yeah, see you later. Come on, you Spurs.